which is delivered by Ms. Nguyen Kiwan. Uh, she is a lecturer from VNU, University of Languages and International Studies, Vietnam. She is going to talk about complementing teacher feedback with automated rating of students' writing and action research. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, so, yeah, before we start, um, let me give you some basic biodata about her. The, um, the researcher has done her Master of Teaching English to speakers of other languages from Victoria University, Australia. She has done her bachelor degree in English language teacher education from University of Languages and International Studies, Vietnam National University, where she has been working as a lecturer since 2009. Her areas of interest are teacher education and professional learning localized curriculum and materials development, as well as assessment and program management. So welcome, Ms. Wan, to our parallel session today. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, good morning. Can you hear me? Can you hear me clearly? Yeah. yeah. All right. So now we can start, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, so um, can you help me uh, share the screen because I cannot share the screen? Just wait a minute, Ms. Wan. Uh, I just made your co-host already. Okay, I see. All right. It's okay now. All right. So you, you all can see my screen, right? All right. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, um, um, thank you very much for joining with me in my presentation about uh, complete, uh, complementing teacher feedback and with automated rating of student writings. Uh, actually, it is an action research I, um, I took last semester with my student. Um, so, in my presentation, I'm going to uh, have several parts. Firstly, I will tell you about the rationale, I mean, the reasons why I chose, um, I, uh, I conducted this research. Uh, then I will tell you about the study context about my student and some tools I used in during my uh, during my my um, my lesson last semester, and then some research questions, um, the data collection techniques and procedure, and some key findings um, of this um, action uh, of this um, action research. All right, so let's start the so, uh, the very first part. Well, um, the reasons for me to uh, Conducted um, to conduct this research is from uh, my, the pressure of the uh, modern school teacher. Especially, we have to take care of a lot of things, um, not really our everyday life, also the work, right? And especially for the, the, the teachers, we also have a lot of, we not only spend um, two or three hours in the class, but we have to, uh, to spend, uh, we have to spend um, a lot of time outside the classroom to prepare for the lesson. And it is um, it is um, especially it has a more pressure when I have to um, to take charge of the writing classes uh, last semester because not only I have to prepare before the class but also I have to grade the student writing and you know that my I normally will have two or three classes of, um, at my university. Um, every semester, and some colleagues will have about 20 to 25 students per class. So it has become, you know, a lot of uh, uh, work for me to grade the student at home. So that is the reason why I, you know, announced my my friends, and I was recommended, um, a, a, you know, an, an automated tools to grade the student. That is the reason why I try to take this action research to, to see whether it is possible for me to complement uh, to complement uh, between the automated tools with the, the human rate. Okay, so that is the reasons why. That is the, the reasons why I try to take this one because I see a lot of challenges for. Um, in teaching writing in Vietnam for not only teachers but also students as well. Um, we have to, it is undeniable that we have to 
face up with a lot of challenges like we have limited professional development opportunities in writing instruction um, or um, we don't have enough time to conduct an appropriate uh, writing lesson to the students. Normally, um, I only have enough time to deliver the, the theory um, in every lesson, but we don't have much time for practice in class, and especially we cannot write right in the class. But normally, I have, I have to bring the, the students' assignment. lesson um, also we have a lot of I myself have a lot of a wide range of level student performance um, in my class that is the reasons why I have to carry to categorize them with different uh, you know types of um, ex assignments we also lack of time and resource to command our student writing um, for students as well they have little value is like um, they have uh, they put little value on the writing skill and they don't have uh, they, they they don't feel motivated to write um, they also have limited time spent on practicing writing skill uh, that is the reason why we have to i have i normally have to command a lot on student writing okay so um 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 when I feel the pressure, normally I don't have enough time to grade the student uh, writing every week. Um, I will assign them the topic every week, but I don't have enough time to grade all of them. So that is the, re the reason why I, I consulted my uh, my friend and I was introduced um, uh, an automated um, tool that is called Criterion. So um, in this research, um, so I applied it um, writing tools um, last semester. Uh, in my class, so I would like to take this action to see the the, the advantages and the disadvantages of that um, approach. I mean, the approach of uh, complementing uh, automated um, writing story called Criterion with the human reading. Okay, so I would like to talk about a little bit about my my study context. I mean, the my the class I apply this method. Um, Actually, my course, um, which I apply this this approach, is a TOEIC writing course. Um, it will last for 100 periods. Okay, and you you may I think that most of you may know about the the TOEIC writing already. Um, actually, this is a a test that is um uh, the the text online. I mean, internet based uh, writing. Okay, so the student have take the class on um, the writing on the computer. Okay, and in during the writing, the topic writing, the student you have to. Uh, okay, the student from Texas to Canada. So, so topic writing is a is a writing test on computer. All right. Um, there are only 15 students in my class. Um, the entry level is A2. It means that it will uh, equivalent to 50 quick writing skill. Uh, it is uh, equivalent to uh, to 50 uh, the score of 50 in the writing uh, the quick writing, and the target level will be B2, um, which is equivalent to 140. Um, then uh, the approach I apply to this um, class is a hybrid course model. I mean, I will um, um, I will talk to, uh, tell you more about the hybrid course model uh, in the next slide. Well, the hybrid course model is a kind of uh, um, uh, combining between online and offline. Um, I would normally I will also still have the traditional approach with face to face lesson. During the face-to-face -face lesson, I will um, still follow my my own writing syllabus to help them get the target score. Um, I will tell them, instruct them about some different uh, um, writing generals, and um, also um, students will have a, will provided with the theory, and then they can uh, they will be assigned some you know some practice. However. Instead of submitting uh, the writing in papers, students will submit the, the student writing via an online 
um, uh, system, which is called Criterion Online Writing Evaluation Service. I will tell you more about Criterion later, okay? But the student, instead of submitting the, the writings uh, via paper, they will submit uh, with this uh, system. And then they can get, the, firstly, they can get the instant feedback from the Criterion post, okay? And after that, um, when the teacher have time and they can give, they can add more comments from the pictures. So the student, firstly, they can get the instant feedback from the machine. And after that, they can get, they can also get the, the comments from the teachers as well. Okay? So that is approach I apply uh, for this writing classes. Okay? So, um, uh, before I tell you about my my question and uh, my research questions i would like to introduce to you a little bit about the criterion online writing evaluation service um because it can you can have more background to understand my research all right so actually the criterion online writing evaluation service is a product from ets you know ets um actually it is an organization that designs the toic and thoughtful tests all right so it is a product from ets um, it is a web-based learning tool with reliable evaluations because actually the um, criterion apply the, um, the I ratings um, uh, technology which is applied for uh, to rate the, the top for IBT as well. Okay, um, so they based a lot, based on a lot of research to um, um, to to conduct uh, to uh, launch this product. It is a faster and easier way to improve student writing skill. Um, actually, it is really a three tools in one because firstly, it will be an assessment tool because you, as I said before, um, they will provide the student with instant feedback. Also, they can have uh, some instructional tools because we can, the student will be provided with the templates, with the handbook, and with the explanation of the score as well. And it can be, I also use this one as a communication tool as well, because um, I can uh, chat with the student about the writing, write in this criterion. Um, they also, I can email the student uh, about the writing as well. So I can use this one as a communication tool. Um, there are some features of criterion here. Um, well, um, they can fit to different uh, skill levels. Um, they can have, uh, they can be provided with more writing practice because not only um, the, the teachers can take the, 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 um, the writing questions right from the library on the criterion, but also the student can add more, they add their more um, questions as well. Okay, so students, the teachers are free to choose the questions from not only the library, but also okay. from the teachers. Okay, so after the students submit, um, uh, they can get the, their own, they can get the instant feedback from the machine. All right. Um, so um, that is, there are some steps I have to follow on the criterion. Firstly, I, as the instructor, will select the essay topic. Um, I can choose the topic either from the 40, set, uh, uh, 40 essays topic area on the library of the criterion. Okay. Otherwise, I can also uh, create my own original um, original essay prompts, which is the uh, with the way I usually apply because I don't I don't prefer some of the topic on the, the criterion. I normally will choose will create uh, on my own. So after that, the criterion service will provide feedback and score based on the model developed using human score. Um, after the student instructor um, assign the topic to the student, then the student will log in and see the assignment, and then they will write their essay on the um, on the boxes of the criterion. Not only by, on paper, but they will write down right right away on the machine. And then uh, when the student log in, they can be seen really well pending and writing tools to build into, uh, build into the criterion service. Student can choose uh, from eight planning templates to help them with the free writing strategies. Um, they can also be provided with a free and online writer's handbook to explain the errors detected 
all those solutions on how to correct them and provide them for uh, correct and interpreted uses. Um, and um, then students will actually provide with some instructional, then they will write their own essay and then they click on a button to submit their essay. Right, um, right after they, they submit the essay within only 20 seconds, the criterion service will give the training and analysis uh, on uh, four criteria, firstly grammar uses, mechanics, uh, style, and then organization and development. And they will provide the score uh, ranging from one to six for you. For each criteria, uh, for, for each criteria, that's right. All right. So um, after they receive the feedback from the feedback from uh, the machine, then student can revise and and can be submit the essay based on the criteria diagnostic feedback. Okay. So uh, it means that the student can. Uh, uh, submit the essay for the first time and they can receive the instant feedback from the machine and they will try to revise it based on the, the machine project um, uh, based on the, the machine uh, feedback first all right before they submit the final version to the teacher all right so it means that the final um the, the, the essay that they Finally, submit to the teacher as P will be the, I mean, one of the best one with normally with no mistake on some grammar mistake or, you know, uh, vocabulary or some mechanical mistake. All right. But I, as a teacher, can just can add some personalized feedback. Normally, it would be some feedback from, um, from about the organization, about the ideas. But I normally don't have to give more feedback about some mechanical mistake anymore, all right, because the machine has to with us one already, okay? So as a digital, I can give some uh, some functions on criteria to give feedback, like um, I can uh, add some pull-up notes, uh, which is inserted into the essay itself. Um, I can also add some frequently used comments and it's saved in the comments library, so I, I don't have to retype it many times, but I can take it just from the library after I feel that the, the, the comments are frequently used and repeated for among many uh, writings already, so I can save it and use it for the next time. All right. Um, so um, after the, the student receive the feedback from the machine and from the instructor, the student can also revise it for the best uh, version, uh, for the last version, all right? Uh, so this is uh, what I apply the machine, the tools I apply in my presentation. So my questions um, after the part is that I would like to find out the student's weaknesses in their writing ability, um, how does the automated reading from criterion complement the teacher's feedback help students improve their writing skills? Okay, so in order to answer these questions, I um, conduct some uh, the procedure of an action research. Okay, I apply by the noon step of action research. I apply some uh, the step here to find out my answer. Right. Um, uh, and here are some uh, collection techniques I apply to um, answer these questions. Firstly, I will have a, have a student um, take part in, a, it will be in the text of the TOEIC writing school. Um, so I can know their entry, they can, I can know the entry level, all right? So after during the course, I will give them some, um, I will give them some uh, assignment, some practice. And I will collect their writings, and then um, I will also not have some reflective um, diary with some problem they have. And at the end of at the end of the course, I will have an informal interview with the, the students between the teacher and the student to find out you no know, student feeling um, after the course, which is applied between um, the automated rating 
and the human rating. Okay, um, so um, with these techniques, I can find out some key findings to answer this to, to the questions I mentioned before. Um, for the first one, um, with the technique one, two, and three, I can find out that um, most students are with a grammar mechanics, uses, and organization. All right, and this um, results I can easily found now uh, based on the uh, report, the reports uh, on the criterion because because, of, because, because um, on the criterion they will provide the students as the teachers with very clear and uh, informative uh, reports. I can easily see how many grammar mistakes they have in this writing, how many mechanics are mistakes on the on another way, and all of those data will be collected in the mind. So it is easier for me to see uh, the, the student uh, mistake after the, the among all of the writings they have wrote, they have written during the semester. All right, so I can easily find out that they are with grammar, mechanics, uses, and organization. Um, one of the students, one of the good points I can see that um, one of the students increased in the number of words and sentences. Miss and pretext. Okay, I mean that they try their best to produce more uh, words and sentences into their writing. And um, one of the students increased in the level on using the words in their writing and make fewer grammatical errors. Because I, I think this one is understandable because now, normally you can get the instant feedback from the machine and most of uh, the machine can help me with some grammatical and mechanical mistake. So that is the reason why the teachers and other uh, students can place on that um, feedback to correct them is that on gram uh, 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 grammar or you know uh, mechanics like um, punctuation or spelling? So normally at the end of the um, at the end of the semester, they they have fewer uh, grammatical errors. Most of the students were found using grammatically appropriate vocabulary in their writings, and the sentences were found meaningful. All right. Um, more than half of the students were able to make proper uh, sentence uh, uh, organization in their writing uh, as they writing. Uh, I think this one is also understandable because um, when they submit the writing online with the machine, then the machine can easily uh, find out whether this essay is in appropriate organization with introduction, with two or three body parts, and it's a, with a conclusion. So they can easily recognize them. So if they don't follow that organization, then the machine will remind them to um, rewrite it. So at the end of the structure, I don't have to, you know, tell them much about the organization because the machine can help me with that one. Uh, because it's one of the mechanics, uh, mechanics uh, functions that the, 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 the machine can recognize. Then. Um, and also the good news for me, uh, the, the good news for me is that all the students will look increase their toilet writing score from 30 to 70 points. Um, their real, you know, the real toilet writing skill at the end of the course. And 80% uh, of them achieve their target toilet writing score, their target writing score. And um, uh, uh, from the data collection techniques for from the student, they found out that the rating method is really convenient for them. They said that it is not uh, different; it is uh, it is similar to how they write on the words um, um, on the word application on the computer. So they don't feel um, something unfamiliar. All right, so they really feel it is convenient and useful because they are familiar with writing and typing the words on the computer already. Um, and all of the function and criteria are, you know, familiar with, are, are similar to the words application. They also use a friendly 
Um, and what they like most, uh, I can see that 70% uh, of the students said that what they like most about this one is the immediate incident effect. Uh, because they said that they complain that they normally complain that. Um, I uh, give them the feedback too late. Um, normally, they will give me the assignment on which, uh, in which one that I, I have to give them. If without the machine, I have to give them um, the command after two weeks. So they said that two weeks is too long for them. So they don't, they don't want to wait. And they said that if the teachers don't give them the instant feedback, then they will feel demotivated. So with the machine, uh, with the online automated machine, they can get the instant feedback, so they, they can get more motivation to write. When uh, when they know that they're writing a score already, so they, what they like most about this machine is that they can get the immediate and instant feedback. Um, they also easy to understand uh, because uh, the, because uh, what they can see in their writing is similar to the text changes function in the world. With some commands, with some uh, revisions, some suggestions for remarks, for remarks, so it's quite easy to understand. However, they said that sometimes the machine is quite confused um, because they said that some comments from the machine is really um, are really repeated all the time. So sometimes it's quite confusing because um, they don't get the the, the uh, instant um, uh, suggestion for revision, but they, they have to find out by themselves how they can correct this mistake. All right. I mean, the machine can only uh, note down what is the mistake, but they themselves have to try to correct it. So they can the try that. Sometimes the try that. Well, quite confusing. Um, they feel that um, it is complicated at first. When they um, are not, uh, they are familiar with the traditional um, approach of, uh, you know, uh, submitting the essay. They are not familiar with submitting the essay via the criterion. But uh, they said that after um, one or two weeks, they thought it's okay to um, uh, to lock it in the criterion and submit the essay um, from the teachers. I feel that I myself feel that this um, this technique, uh, this um, measure, uh, this machine is really uh, custom uh, customizable. So that is what I like most because I don't have to um, just based on the, the, the library on the criterion, but I can personalize my questions uh, by myself because I see that the questions on criterion is not so my thoughts, which is an topic uh, writing course. Um, and I can also design my own questions. Um, I can also, um, I feel that it's custom, uh, customizable because um, I can add, I don't have to, I can change the, the point. Um, that is all that the machine made. For example, the machine got this writing, get only four points. However, after I reread the, um, the student writing, I can change the score. Okay. It is also flexible because I can bring, I can lock in anytime and anywhere to, to read the student writing. It is also really efficient because I can, it can help me decrease my workload. Um, I have to emphasize that the criteria cannot reflect, uh, cannot uh, replace uh, my, the teachers, I have the teachers. I mean, um, I still have to work with the student writing. However, the machine helped me a lot. It can help me to decrease about, I think about 60 to 70 percent of the workload. Um, and I think at least if the student cannot get the, 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 the teacher's feedback, at least they can still get the feedback from the machine. So they still feel the, more, the motivation to continue to write. Okay? It is also really convenient because I can use it everywhere. However, I feel some problem with this um, machine. Um, is that I still have to work, as I said before, it cannot totally replace a human reading. Um, the criterion uh, only can do with some um, some mistake like grammar, some the organization, or um, the uh, some mechanical mistake like spelling or punctuation. However, it cannot give the comments on some student ideas or the ways of using vocabulary. 
of how I can recognize if the word is repeated for many times, then they can remind the student that, well, how, hey, you have repeated a lot of words already, you should replace it by another word. Um, however, for example, some quotation or some, uh, um, some better way to paraphrase the answer, then the, the, the machine cannot respond. I myself have to work with um, something more using refined more brains um, for this uh, student writing. And one of the things that I don't like, I don't really like about this one is not, it is not free. It is not a free uh, application that you can easily download on uh, from the internet, but you have to buy the license. Okay. Uh, the license will last for only one year. Um, and the, the teacher account will be free, but the student account will be, uh, will be charged about um, uh, $20, uh, $25 per year. Okay. And to save um, the student money, I, um, I have them to buy one year account. However, um, if the cost lasts only for six months, then the account can share between two students for the last, uh, for the next six months. So that's the way I save the student uh, money. Um, I think that uh, after my talk, I can see some, um, I draw some conclusion about how to improve my next uh, writing skill, uh, writing classes. The first one is that it's really essential to know the current level of the learners before we go for the real teaching. Uh, so that is the reason why I think the free test is really important. So that we can diagnose, uh, diagnose um, uh, the students' uh, problem uh, and I can um, categorize the students into the different groups. For example, the group one normally would have a skill, skill plus a grammar, so I can give them more lessons on the grammar in the writing. But on the other group has a problem on the vocabulary, then I have to give them more help on the vocabulary. So it is really important to know the current level of the learners and also the problems that they are having. Um, and I think that the teaching of writing could be successful when plan approach or assessment is applied after this one, um, I think that the, that the machine, uh, the, the online automated machine uh, system can help me a lot with this one. It can help me review the book and give more, give students more practice. Um, the access to the reading and writing materials related to the essay under technique guidance is really helpful. I found out that um, we can make use of the writing materials which are available on the criterion. Um, and I see that there's um, actually I, I used the hybrid uh, model of the criterion in my course. However, I think that there are other ways uh, to apply the criterion um, into the class. We can use uh, several models like um, web enhanced hybrid or online um, uh, for the courses. Um, for example, if the web enhanced, the, they will have more online lessons. So we can um, deliver the lessons online and after also apply the lesson and the, you know, the, the, uh, the rating, the automated rating online as well. So in this case, we have to apply the criterion. We have to combine the criterion with another application like Zoom or Teams um, to, de de to deliver the lecture as well. Okay. So in my case, I use the hybrid, the hybrid model. In this one, the on-site activity is the same as online activities. Then I will deliver the lectures on-site in the class, face to face. The, the theory, um, the introduction of some different uh, writing generals and um, assigning the homework face to face as well. However, the teachers will, or the students will submit their essay online via the criterion. Okay. And the last one is that we can apply the criterion based courses like an online course. I mean, everything will do with online. However, this one is not, I, I don't really recommend this online approach because um, I think that face-to-face -face still play a very important um, role 
in teaching writing. So I don't prefer the online approach. But maybe in some cases we have no choice. So we have to use online. Okay. Um, so um, that is some uh, findings I have just found out on my presentation uh, about after my action research. All right. So I think I'm running out of time already, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it is time for you um, for the Q&A session. I still have time for the Q&A. Um, yeah, yep, for some, some questions, questions Ms. Wan. Okay. okay, so again, thanks for your uh, very informative and useful presentation on a web-based uh, tool, which is used for correcting students' writing. Uh, and to be honest, this is the first time I have heard about um, a, a great tool like this. Uh, so you said that is a free, uh, there's a free teacher account. So how do you get access to that? Actually, it is free if we have, uh, I mean, if we buy the student's account, then it will be provided 